two terms that are often confused with each other are scale and proportion. A lot of the time, these terms are used interchangeably or even together. However, both refer to two very different size relationships. Let's take a look at proportion in this example. Here is King Harold the shark. We can talk about proportion when discussing various aspects of his own shape, but we are only talking about him, not comparing him to something else. Proportion is the relationship in the size between a work's individual parts and the whole. For example, the height of the fin on top of his back is about half of the height of his tail. Both the fin and the tail are a part of him. Comparing parts of the individual shark to each other is a discussion about proportion. Let's say that we were to compare him to his friend Angela, the angelfish. Once we compare the size of the shark to the size of the angelfish, we are comparing two separate objects. When we compare the size of an object or artwork relative to another object or artwork or to a system of measurement, we are talking about scale. We would not say that the proportion of Harold is large in comparison to Angela because proportion only discusses the one object. That would be an incorrect use of the term. In this case, Harold is larger in scale than Angela. Let's talk about some special topics in scale. Hierarchical scale is when an artist makes something large in order to show relative importance. This is an intentional decision. While Harold was larger than Angela in the last slide, it is not an example of hierarchical scale because Angela is just naturally a much smaller fish. However, in this case, Harold is hosting a meeting with an important shark committee and the artist has drawn him much larger than all of his other subjects. The difference in size is not natural as all of the sharks would be about the same size. The size difference prompts us to note that King Harold is the important character in this scenario. Let's look at a portrait that Harold has commissioned of himself. It is quite tiny and an example of intimate scale. It is a work of art that each viewer would need to experience alone as it is too small for many to look at at once. Harold is also a patron of some larger artworks. Here he is in front of this sculpture of himself. In this case, the scale of the sculpture is monumental because it is impressive in size, being much larger than Harold himself. It may be tempting to say that any big object is monumental. However, we reserve this description only for when something really surprises us by being much larger than we would normally expect. If we think of monuments of royalty or heroes, they are generally scaled up to convey a sense of impressiveness. Finally, just because this is a large sculpture, it does not mean that this is an example of hierarchical scale. For hierarchical scale, we need there to be a comparison between multiple objects or figures that denotes a hierarchy or degrees of importance among individuals. Here, the sculpture of Harold is just meant to be impressive and astonishing. Some takeaways. Scale and proportion are not interchangeable. Be sure to use each term when it is appropriate and not to mix and match the words. Monumental scale and hierarchical scale discuss objects of a larger size in different ways. Make sure to be sensitive to what the comparison is and therefore what type of scale is being used. And finally, for something to actually be monumental, there needs to be a scale shift. It cannot just be something really large.